Hey guys, this is Mr. Moxie, and today we're going to talk about drones. So I'm going to be an overview of what drones are, how you can get started in it, what are the types, what are the required skills, what are the applications, and this is the first video in a series of videos that we'll be putting up where you can actually learn and get into drone technology technology as soon as possible. So this is going to be quick and short. So let's get into it. What are drones? So these are the different types of drones that you would have seen. Many of you would have seen the top left, that is the DJI Phantom or the DJI Mavic or the DJI drones. DJI is a manufacturer of drone who, drones which who hold around 70% of the drone market. They are mainly into videography as well as agriculture drones. So the second one which you would have seen drones for agriculture where they are spraying pesticides, insecticides and spraying water and doing agricultural mapping, serving and as such. The third would be your uh, racing drones, cinema drones or FPV drones as I call it. This is the third, third type of drones. Little lesser but much more uh, uh, skill specific is what I would call it. The fourth and the most widely used is drones for military where they are using it for conducting precision strikes, uh, reconnaissance, surveillance and as such. Let's move on to types of drones. Okay, so what are the types of drones? First is the middle one which you see that is the multi rotor where there are multiple uh, propellers multiple motors uh, a quadcopter which has four a tricopter which has three or uh, hexacopter which has six as such so that is a multi rotor second is your fixed wing the one to the top right a fixed wing is a, has a single motor usually or one or two or three and it requires a runway to for takeoff and landing it does not have vertical takeoff and landing and the bottom right if you see that is a single rotor or a helicopter a helicopter type of a drone where it can take off vertical and vertically and it has another smaller propeller at the back tail end which you see that that would control uh, your uh, turning now the coming to the bottom left is an ornithopter an ornithopter moves like a bird where the movement mimics the flapping of wings so the red red uh, wings which you see those flap move up and down and that is how the movement is achieved slightly inefficient but uh, useful for uh, camouflage purposes top left is what you see is a VTOL hybrid so vertical takeoff land and landing hybrid is what we call it where the drone can take off vertically and land vertically as well but in air it can move like a fixed wing so that would give us a much higher efficiency and uh, with the added advantage of not requiring a runway or anything it can land anywhere so this, these are the types of drones now moving on to the applications of drones so the applications of drones first and foremost delivery amazon prime air google is doing it dhl is doing it so Delivery is one of the most widely seen commercial uses of drones and it will be in future as well. The second would be military where, where uh, the military is using it for surveillance, reconnaissance, conducting attacks, infiltration and so on and so forth. Then, then would be your agriculture where mapping is happening, agriculture spraying pesticides, it's all of those applications. Then would be your surveying and mapping where civil engineers use uh, drones for finding out the dimensions of building or generating a map of the entire uh, building, a 3D figure and as such. Then would come your cinematography where drones are being used in movies and all of that. Then would be your police drones, firefighting, first responder drones where for the safety of women, for the safety of people and uh, drones being used for first response where people cannot go as well then uh, drones used for uh, uh, fighting fire as well e-hand drone you can check it up where they launch a canister from the drone into a building especially useful when case of high rises and apartments where uh, fire engines cannot go and last case would be the DR DRL or drone racing and freestyle so the bottom what you see is the drone racing league drone so drone racing and uh, freestyle is also an application of where drones are being used it will become a major sports as we go ahead okay moving on what are the required skills that you need to get into drones the first and foremost thing foremost 
is electronics you need to have an understanding of what electronics are there what are the different components that you'll need and all of that second would be your iot depending on your applications your sensors would differ how you would integrate them differs and all of that then would come programming a basic understanding of programming is required but most of the gui and then interactive software is already available where you just have to select what you need and it would do the job for you then an important thing would be piloting it is a must and have skill if you don't know how to fly the drone there's no point of building a drone you would suffer if you cannot test it then would come your soldering in case you want to use custom components or you want to build an fpv drone soldering would come into picture uh, communications communications in the case where you want to use uh, different uh, different types of communications in case of radio control or video control where you're getting the video camera feed and all of that or you want to build a drone on cellular networks and all of that communications would come into picture so depending on your application the depth in which you will have to go matters a lot then would come embedded systems so all of these drones are working on processors such as atmega or f7 f4 h7 all of those processors so all of these would require a uh, understanding of embedded systems if you want to go into the depth of it to edit the firmware and uh, the base bios code of it then the vlsi design so i would say embedded system is an advanced thing vlsi design is an intermediate thing where you're designing the pcb the entire flight controller of the drone or each individual component or you can even design the chip which goes on to the drone as well chip in the case sense would be the uh, processor the same way how it works in your phones as well now aeronautics based on the application the depth in which you would have to go would vary aeronautics would refer to the design of the propellers the airflow where you would have to use ansys analysis softwares and uh, all of that now the last would be your cad design where the frame of the drone is designed the mechanical structure different components or add-ons all of that so base it all comes down to what application you want to develop and based on that you would have to go into different fields now how do you get started so first and foremost you need to pick what application you want to work with second determine what require what are your requirements then third determine the design of your drone what is the functionality that you'll need then decide on what components you'll need procure those components decide on your process of workflow and the steps that you would need to follow cross verify then build your drone evaluate test and then innovate seems simple but there is a lot of thought that you would have to put into it the more you plan and the more you put in the initial design the easier it is to test you would face less issues so i've seen many of them go into the drone that you see top right so that is what we call a pixel drone so that is a dji f400 frame is what i would call it so this has a gps integration sensors integration and all of that so you can be used for a wide range of applications so if you're going for a more commercial or industry side of it or developing for a particular problem statement that is what you would go into but on the hobby side where you want to go into cinema or videography and racing freestyle and for just for the fun of it i would suggest going into fpv which is the first drone which you see here both require different skills and uh, both have different uh, advantages disadvantages the middle one would be your industry grade drone where it's a turret frame completely carbon fiber and uh, high end industrial components so that is an advanced thing and we will get into all of these eventually so for now that is it